speaking to the BBC. Why is Israel worried about Why is Israel worried about Iran? I think it's uh, not Israel's problem only. For many many years, most of the world believed that terrorism in Iran are Israel's problem only. Only after uh, the biggest terrorist attack that was carried out in 9/11 in New York and some others in Madrid, in Brazil, in Russia, the world realized that terrorism can eat everywhere and against everyone. And since then, the world have decided to combat terrorism, and the outcome is very, very positive. With Iran, it was the same. Only after the world realized that the Iranians are developing new missiles with much longer range than Israel, of 2,500 kilometers, 3,000 kilometers, that we put within that range. The whole capitals of Europe, like London, like Paris, like Berlin, like uh, Madrid, like Rome, uh, even the southern part of Russia, then they have decided to do something in order to stop them. So it's not that Israel is worried about Iran. Most of the world is worried about Iran and about its plans. What's the red line for Israel? Is it Iran actually developing a nuclear bomb, or is it Iran developing a nuclear capability? It uh, should uh, go together because uh, I believe that uh, Iran uh, has uh, its own ambition to revive the Persian Empire and they would like to do it by uh, taking control of all uh, the Middle East, by uh, changing the, the type of the regimes there and bring their allies to power. On the other end, uh, to have a nuclear bomb and they believe that a nuclear bomb is the only way for them to become an empire or to become a superpower or that's the only way for them to keep their regime in power. You say that the two go together, a nuclear bomb and nuclear capability, but the United States seems to suggest otherwise. The Defense Secretary Leon Panetta in a recent interview with CBS suggested that his red line is a nuclear weapon but not an actual nuclear capability. So there may be a difference between uh, your red line and America's. If you would like uh, to be naive, you can uh, you, uh, deserve uh, the whole uh, credit that I can give you about it. But uh, I don't want to be naive. And uh, the Americans uh, published a report in 07 that said that in 03 the Iranians ab abandoned uh, their uh, military program. And now they've changed their attitude. We know that uh, they are trying to have a nuclear bomb. And in order to have a nuclear bomb, first they have to have a nuclear capability. The enrichment now of 3.5% can come in a short time to, uh, can come up to 20% and then to 90%. And we should understand, Iran is a tyranny. Iran is led by lunatics that can take a decision in one day to destroy the entire world. Leon Panetta in that interview said, are they trying to develop a nuclear weapon? He asked himself, no, is what he answered. America is saying at the moment that Iran is not trying to develop a nuclear weapon as such. No, I am sorry that you interrupted in a different way. I think what the Americans are saying is that now, when the enrichment is only of 3, 4.5 percent, it cannot bring them now with such kind of a re uh, enrichment uh, to the enrichment that is needed to have a nuclear bomb. But they said very clear that the Iranians are trying to develop nuclear power that will enable them to have a nuclear bomb. And they are hiding some sites and they are doing everything they can in order to gain time to have more time in order to come to that point that it would be a point of no return. Just to clarify Israel's position, are you saying that Iran is trying to develop an actual bomb, an actual warhead? I don't think that uh, there is uh, anyone in the world that don't think so. There are many people who don't think so. No, there are I, many people who think, many nuclear experts I've spoken to think that Iran is trying to develop nuclear latency, a capability to make nuclear weapons, but not actual weapons themselves. And to many people, not just experts, but other governments, there is a big difference between the capability and actual warheads themselves. I think uh, it's a very big difference between a civilian uh, experts uh, to those military experts and to those intelligences and to those uh, head of states. Uh, you will get uh, different answers from that group or from uh, the other group. 
So uh, we know what the Iranians are trying uh, to develop, and we know very well that uh, the Iranians will do everything they can to have a nuclear bomb, because in their view, as I've mentioned, it's not only to revive the Persian Empire. For them, it's the only way to keep their regime in power. And I believe that we should realize that and not to argue uh, uh, between ourselves if they are having those intentions or not. It's ridiculous. They have it. What we should do is to stop them. And to stop them, I believe it's a purpose, it's a goal, it's an aim that all of us should be united of. And what needs to be done is to impose real sanctions. I am personally really believe in sanctions. Not all the Israeli thinks the same way I think, but sanctions broke down the regime of, of uh, South Africa. They uh, forced uh, Gaddafi then to abandon the nuclear program of Libya. They are very close to bring down the, the, the maybe uh, the regime in North Korea, or they are suffering a lot there. And it even works in some way in Iran, but of course it doesn't work in the same way that it should be. It should be in a different way. In order to bring tougher sanctions on Iran, we need, of course, a strategic decision that will be taken by the international community. You talk about sanctions. What about a military strike or covert war? I think that sanctions, if they will be uh, tougher enough, can uh, bring the Iranians maybe to think uh, different and to think maybe that the only way for them to keep the regime in power is to abandon the nuclear program of having a nuclear bomb because if the sanctions would be tougher enough it might bring down the regime in Iran so I think that we should make the progress that is needed by the international community, and uh, if uh, the Chinese and the, and the uh, Russians don't want to uh, join, I don't think it will affect uh, uh, the sanctions that might be imposed by the United States, by the European Union, by Canada, Australia, Japan. You should know. Uh, 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 it's a very big battle these days in the Middle East. Who will take control of all the oil, of the all oil reserves? of the entire world for the next 150 years. And that's why maybe Russia and China don't want to give the Americans uh, the option to take control of the, uh, uh, let's say, oxygen pipeline uh, uh, of, uh, of the world. And that's why uh, they are not really uh, in favor of uh, uh, letting Iran to fall, that will bring after it uh, the Syrian regime to fall and the Lebanese one. And maybe the United States and the West will take control of all the Middle East and all the oil reserves. Russia's, you talk about Russia, Russia's foreign minister has said that a military strike against Iran would be a catastrophe because it would lead to unforeseen consequences. Do you share that view? I think that uh, everyone uh, can have his uh, own uh, views, deserve to have their own views. I uh, respect uh, for Mr. Lavrov. I know him uh, for many years, and I think that uh, none of us uh, would like uh, to go uh, uh, to a military uh, option. Of all of us would like to see the Iranians are taking the decision uh, to abandon uh, that uh, nuclear program. But of course, Israel cannot live with the idea that the lunatics like the Iranian regime will be the one that can take a decision if they would like to destroy the state of Israel or not. More than that, it will open an arm race because Turkey will, would, uh, would like to have the same uh, power as well as Egypt, as well as Saudi Arabia. And to be a much, uh, let's say, unsafer world than we are facing today. Uh, let's take that point about Iran's decision making. Israel itself is not defenseless. You have an incredibly powerful army. You have an undeclared nuclear capability of your own. If Iran tried to attack Israel, that would be a suicide attack. You call Iran's leaders lunatics, but they're surely not suicidal. Uh, that's uh, the all, always the problem that we have with nice uh, friends like you. 
because you think uh, like uh, you know uh, in a western way of thinking and uh, in the Middle East uh, they think in a different way of thinking it doesn't match and uh, unfortunately uh, they think different uh, what uh, for you looks illogical or for you it doesn't make sense for others it can make sense and we cannot uh, rely only on our way of thinking as a people that belongs to the Western world that it might be uh, illogical uh, to uh, launch a missile with a nuclear bomb uh, toward Israel uh, because we are under the threat because Rafsan Jani that uh, seems to be uh, one of the moderates, uh, moderate uh, leaders in, uh, in Iran he said the unforgettable uh, sentence that said that one missile from Israel, if it has, toward Iran, will only damage the Muslim state. But one missile from Iran toward Israel will destroy the Jewish state. And this is the moderate.